Luffy and Blackbeard are two sides of the same coin, and they will be the two main contestants when it comes to the battle for Pirate King. Blackbeard's also an opportunist and the type of guy to hang on to one road Poneglyph while he waits for three road Poneglyph Luffy to approach him. The common misconception in our community is that Shanks is waiting on Elbaf with the final road Poneglyph, but today you're going to be learning tons of concrete evidence why that's far more unlikely than Blackbeard already having the final road Poneglyph. I even made a timeline of events explaining why Blackbeard has a final Poneglyph and it's so easy easy to understand. You might recognize this video topic because I talked about it almost a year ago, but I have tons of new points, evidences, all that kind of stuff to update the theory with. And a lot of you guys think you're subscribed to my channel, but you're not. Scroll down, hit the like and subscribe button. So over 44 years ago, the Rocks Pirates were a powerful crew that sailed the seas and had their own era. They were led by Rocks D. Zebek, and these guys were said to be so powerful and they came together to make one big score. When they say one big score, I believe that's referring to the One Piece, this grand treasure that Joy Boy left by. Behind. And moving on to 38 years ago, Roger and Garp defeated the Rocks Pirates at God Valley. And the remnants of the Rocks Pirates went on to be very strong, powerful, and notable people, such as Whitebeard, Kaido, Big Mom, like all these guys became emperors, and some of them did fell off. But the main point is I believe these guys inherited the road Poneglyphs from Zebek. And yet, technically, Zoe was never under control of like a Rocks Pirate or a former Rocks Pirate, but you're gonna see why I'm saying this later on in the video. And then 28 years ago, Roger gets an incurable disease and begins his final journey to Raftal. So this took place about 10 years after the God Valley incident, which I find very interesting. And we do know that at some point the Roger Pirates made their way to Lodestar and the log post is going haywire and all that kind of stuff. But I believe it's through Zebek or at least the God Valley incident that Roger realized that there's this great treasure and that there's this final island named Raftal. And also during this time frame, Blackbeard joins the Whitebeard Pirates. Given that this was 28 years ago, Blackbeard spent a lot of time with Whitebeard, Marco, etc. It's safe to assume that Blackbeard would learn about Whitebeard's Poneglyphs, his secret treasures, his islands, all that kind of stuff if he's with their crew for almost three decades. Like that's an easy safe assumption that Blackbeard would learn all these important stuff being a member for that long. And three years later, about 25 years ago, the Roger Pirates complete their journey to Raftal. We know when Roger got there, he had a very iconic moment where it says he laughed and he found Joy Boy's treasure. They learned the truth of the world. A lot of important stuff is waiting at Raftal for Luffy. But we know that Roger was a first and only person person to do it and it's important that we keep this in mind. And soon after, Roger meets with Whitebeard to talk about the Will of D. We see this during the Marine Ford War. There's a beautiful flashback between Roger and Whitebeard. They're at a cherry blossom location, probably Wano. But the point is, is that Roger explained to Whitebeard what the Will of D was. Roger was also willing to explain how to get to Laugh Tale, what Laugh Tale holds, all that kind of stuff, and to which Whitebeard did accept to hear what the One Piece is. But I believe it was at this time that Roger told Whitebeard, hey, you might want to go to Fishman Island. There's a road pony flare that's necessary for you to get that in order to make it to Laugh Tail. Whether you want to keep it from bad guys, hold on to it yourself, you want to go to Fishman Island to get that Poneglyph. I believe that's what happened. But about a year later, 24 years ago, Roger turns himself into the Marines and creates the Great Age of Pirates. This was one of the most important, most significant things in the entire world of One Piece in their whole history. Now there's millions and thousands of people sailing the seas, trying to find this treasure, make their way to Laugh Tail, getting the road Poneglyphs. There's a people in just chaos everywhere. It's because of Roger seeing he had this great treasure, all this wealth, fame, and power, like waiting at Laugh Tale. So this is another important key moment for the timeline. Soon after, as a 15 year old, Shanks creates his own crew. Shanks did offer Buggy a position in the crew into which Buggy declined and Buggy wanted to make his own crew. So we see Shanks sailing through the East Blue. He goes to Sierra Village and he picks up people like Yasop. It's really important to know that Shanks was extremely young when this happened. And I highly, highly, highly doubt that as a 15, 16, 17, eight year old, whatever, that Shanks Shanks' first reaction was to immediately go to Fisherman Island and go for the road Poneglyph. I don't think that's what happened. I believe he spent some time learning the seas because he is pretty young, gathering crewmates, and getting ready to be an actual pirate, being an actual captain. Four years later, about 20 years ago, Whitebeard claims Fisherman Island under his protection. I definitely believe it was at this time that Whitebeard noticed the Joy Boy apology, but also the road Poneglyph. It would have had to have been at this time that he decided to hide it because he remembered that years earlier, Roger was explaining to him the One Piece and all that important information. So you would have had to realize, okay, I want to hide this, maybe put it in my hometown of Sphinx, maybe put it in the Hachinosu Island where the Rocks Pirates are formed. I need to hide this road Poneglyph. And 
And I believe that's exactly what he did because they would have told Whitebeard, hey, Shanks or someone else took a pony gulf out of here. I feel like they would have told him that given he was the protector of Fishman Island and he saved them and brought a lot of hope, peace and freedom to the country. They would have had to have told him that. I highly doubt that Shanks was 15, 16 years old going all the way across the world to the new world as a teenager, going to Fishman Island, sneaking around, getting their pony glyph, and them not finding out. That just doesn't make any sense to me. And then you also have to consider that they would have told Whitebeard that Shanks did that in the first place. And even if he did do that, he would have had to have offered something in return. There's no way he takes a great treasure like a rogue pony glyph and doesn't offer to protect them. We know that it was up until Whitebeard got there that it was complete chaos. They were suffering. People were raiding it. There's no way that Shanks would have grabbed this treasure and just completely ignored and abandoned them. I believe the protector of Fishman Island, Whitebeard, was the one who took and hid the road pony glyph. If you made it this far into the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. This took forever to make. 18 years later, which was two years ago, Shanks meets up with Whitebeard to warn him about Blackbeard. When Shanks got on the ship, Whitebeard was straight disrespecting this man. Whitebeard had no type of respect or loyalty or even admiration for Shanks. He was just talking down on him, belittling him the whole time. With this being said, I highly doubt that Whitebeard would have given Shanks the road pony glyph before or after. If he doesn't respect him and he thinks lowly of him, why would he give him this important treasure leading to the One Piece? It doesn't make sense. And I feel like they would have addressed, hey, you stole my road pony glyph. You stole the road pony glyph from Fishman Island. I feel like that would have been addressed by either Fishman Island or Whitebeard. It just doesn't make sense to say that Whitebeard would have trusted Shanks and given him the pony glyph in Fishman Island. Soon after that, Whitebeard dies at Marine Ford War. Yes, technically Akainu punched half his skull off, but at the end of the day, Blackbeard got the last blow in. Blackbeard was a reason that Whitebeard died. I believe this was a calculated decision not only to get the fruit and the territories, but to get the road pony glyph as well. He knows that if Whitebeard was still alive, Whitebeard would not allow Blackbeard to go into his territories and get such a treasure. Blackbeard knew he had to kill Whitebeard in order to put forth this master plan of Blackbeard's. Like Blackbeard is an opportunist, he's strategic, he pretty much orchestrated the whole Marine Ford war. With him killing Whitebeard, it's safe to assume that he knows about the road pony glyph that Whitebeard had and he had to get Whitebeard out the way so he can go get it. And about a year ago, Blackbeard fights the remnant members of the Whitebeard Pirates. This was called the Payback War. We know that Marco says that Blackbeard took everything from us. I don't think this is limited to the captain and his fruit or even territories. I believe it goes much deeper than that. I believe one of these things that they lost was a road pony glyph that Whitebeard left behind. Now it's up for speculation where Whitebeard would have hit it. Maybe it was Hachinosu Island or Sphinx, who knows? But being that Blackbeard was a member for almost three decades, Blackbeard would have to know where that pony glyph is. I believe Blackbeard made his way to the location and that's where he fought Marco and all those guys. Of course, there was a lot of deaths. The point is that he lost the road pony glyph from Fishman Island to Blackbeard. Also around this time, Jimbe gives Big Mom a regular blue pony glyph as a bargaining chip for Fishman Island protection. And this addresses a very common misconception about Jimbe. A lot of people say that Jimbe gave Big Mom a red pony glyph when that is not true. Jimbe gave Big Mom a blue pony glyph. Like when Whitebeard died, Fishman Island essentially went back into chaos. A lot of pirates and invaders were coming in because no one was there to protect it. So it was up to basically Big Mom's protection, you know, with these suites and these trades in order to have them protected and to slow down the people raiding the island. Also around this time, Blackbeard makes the Rocks Pirates founding location his home base. This island is known as Fula Lead, Hachinosu Island, Beehive Island, whatever you want to call it. The point is that Blackbeard is now stationed where the Rocks Pirates were formed. So if Whitebeard decided to hide the pony glyph, he could have put it where the Rocks Pirates are formed, Hachinosu Island, and that's why Blackbeard's stationed there. Or if it was hidden somewhere else, Blackbeard would have grabbed it from that other location and brought it to his new home base, Hachinosu Island. And now current day, Luffy visits Fishman Island only to discover the red pony glyph is missing. Again, when Roger made his way to Fishman Island, we knew there was a red pony glyph there and it wasn't missing yet. At some point from that moment to now, it became missing. And the conclusion that I'm putting forth is when Whitebeard became a protector, that's when he decided to move it and hide the pony glyph. It's also reminiscent of Zoe. You have Whitebeard and Odin, these guys that are looked upon, you know, they're somewhat protectors. These islands are hiding a great treasure like Rai 
Kaizo or a rogue Poneglyph for their protector. Or when Whitebeard was a protector, he didn't tell them that he was hiding it. Either way, I find it extremely unlikely for teenager Shanks to go to Fishman Island, not tell anyone, including the citizens, that he was moving the Poneglyph. I think that Emperor Whitebeard, who was their protector, decided to move and hide the Poneglyph. Also during current day, we learned Big Mom does monthly protection payments with Fishman Island. Again, they are giving her sweets for her protection. She only got to Fishman Island after Whitebeard died. I believe it was hidden and they moved that Poneglyph before she got there. Otherwise, she would have taken it for herself. I highly doubt she has a second road Poneglyph hidden somewhere that we didn't encounter during Whole Cake Island. It's extremely unlikely. I believe this last fourth road Poneglyph is in the hands of Blackbeard. And finally, during current day, Marco goes to Wano in order to talk to Luffy. I don't think he only came to Wano to help Luffy against Kaido and the whole raid. I think it goes much deeper than that. During Marineford War, Whitebeard tells Blackbeard that he is not the man Roger's waiting for. And he then tells Marco and the rest of the Whitebeard pirates to protect and help Luffy. I believe during this celebration in Wano, Marco's going to have an encounter with Luffy and say, hey, you know how Fishman Island was missing a road Poneglyph? Well, you know, we lost it to Blackbeard. So what you have to do, Luffy, you have three road Poneglyphs now, and you also have Robin who can read them. I need you to go to Blackbeard and fight him. This will create the battle for Pirate King. You have three Poneglyphs plus a reader, and Blackbeard has the last one. And this is all because Blackbeard orchestrated a master plan to kill Whitebeard, take the road Poneglyph, and get stronger while he waits for Luffy to approach him. And the final question, what does this mean for the story? I still believe we're going to see Shanks. I still believe we're going to go to Elbaf. Those things are forever cemented into the story, and I would even consider them as safe head cannons. But I still think that this battle for Pirate King, this battle against Blackbeard, is going to unfold in this manner. Essentially, Blackbeard learned that Whitebeard had a road Poneglyph. He goes, kills Whitebeard, takes the road Poneglyph, and now he's getting fruits, getting stronger, buffing up his crew, waiting for Luffy. There's no reason why Blackbeard needs to go to Whole Cake Island, go to Wano, go to Zoe, go to all these islands, cause a ruckus and take the road Poneglyphs when he could take only Whitebeards and wait for Luffy to approach them. Blackbeard is smart and strategic. He knows that in order to make it to Laugh Tail, you need four. You can't do it with three, two, one, zero. You need four road Poneglyphs. And he most likely knows that Robin can read the Poneglyphs as well. So with that being said, he has the one and he's waiting for Luffy to approach him for this grand finale. That's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to check the video out to my side. It's a banger theory video. You don't want to miss it. With that being said, please take care of yourselves. And of course, please have yourself a damn good one.